Primates which include humans, monkeys and apes, they are known for their complex social relationships and behavior. Hello friends, today we will discuss about primates social behavior. Primates which include humans, monkeys and apes, they are known for their complex social relationships and behavior. In this class, we will focus on non-human primates social behavior. Now, UPSC did ask question recently, one in 2022 and another in 2020 with respect to primates. Let's see what were those questions. So in 2022, it is asking different forms of primate social organization and then in 2020, UPSC did ask question about the contribution of Jane Goodall. Now Jane Goodall is a very famous primatologist. Let's discuss first of all about primate social behavior. So we do have lot of similar patterns which we see among humans in the context of social behavior. Now the primates like chimpanzees, orangutans, gorillas, they live in groups. So group living is highly common. You can see groups ranging from small family units to large multi-male or multi-female groups. We can see here that there is a pattern involved even in formation of grouping among non-human primates. Now, why do they live in grouping? They live in grouping because it protects and gives them lot of benefits. It protects them from predators. It provides better foraging opportunities and assistance in raising offspring. So the way humans raise their offsprings with lot of emphasizes on parental care. Monkeys, gorillas and great apes, lesser apes, they also exhibit similar kind of behavior or traits while raising their offspring. You will also observe communication pattern among them. Okay, so you will see that primates communicate through a variety of vocalization. We also have a very famous uh, contribution with respect to vocalization among primatology which tells about snake theory. So Bell who is very famous primatologist have signified that how these primates communicate. They tell about if they like you know they tell about if they are finding any threat while living. So it's a snake bell theory. Now in a snake bell theory it has been observed that if monkeys, you know, if monkeys or gorillas, they see that snake is going on. So they, they use particular type of vocalization to signify other members of the group that there is danger. So you will see that it's not only vocalization which primates use, they also make and uses of facial expressions. Body postures and gestures also helps in communicating with other primates. That means just like humans, non-human primates also exhibit emotions. Okay, so vocalization can convey different messages including warnings, meeting calls and expressions of distress or contentment. Then you will also observe hierarchy and dominance among them. 
so we do have some primates within a group which establish and maintain a ranking order and the authority of that particular individual is being accepted by other primate you know member so dominance and submission play a role in assess to resources meeting opportunities and overall group stability then you will also find altruism and cooperation behavior so cooperative behavior are observed in many primate species altruistic acts where an individual helps another at some cost to itself which are not uncommon so you will also find that the primates are always cooperating with each other so that the stability and the peace can be maintained in their group okay so you can see here and this picture can actually shows that actually showing that how these different primates are living and here you can see it's also using a tool so different activities are there and they are sharing food protecting each other from threats so cooperation is there among primates then also you will find parental care so this is something very common we have often observed among monkeys so primates invest a significant amount of time and efforts in raising their offspring okay so this is very common then it is also about the tool use so they do use different types of tools for various purposes such as foraging for food or grooming now this ability of using tools reflects their ability to learn and adapt to their environment it is just not about that they have mechanism of cooperation and altruism they also have some sort of rules and regulations which help them to resolve conflict among them for maintaining group harmony you will see that there are some sort of ritualized behaviors reconciliation and the use of vocalization to signal submission are common methods of conflict resolution so if you will find that there is some issues going on within the group they also use some sort of submissive behavior okay and similarly you will see very different and interesting mating systems okay so primate mating system vary among species some are monogamous with pairs forming long term bonds while other are polygamous okay so this is also we can see now there was a question on the contribution of jane goodall now she is a renowned british primatologist and she has discovered lot many observations with respect to chimpanzees and now she has like you know she is very famous for protecting about primates she is always take telling about that how the primates or chimpanzees are really important for our world and we need to take significant steps to protect them from different types of threats okay so jane goodall if they have asked the contribution first of all you people have to tell about uh, about little bit their you know education about where they are from some sort of information you can see and tell so she is jane goodall and she has actually contributed her life in reading social behavior and now she is playing a significant role in protecting them as well so this is her major work you need to mention about gombe chimpanzee's research and discovery of tool use so one of goodall's most significant discoveries was the observation of chimpanzees using tools at the time tool use was considered a unique human characteristic 
So Jane Goodall explained and showed that how chimpanzees are also using tools. Then you have roots and shoots, walk, so it's a program. And as I said that now she has become an activist, she is actually helping to make a positive impact in our communities by protecting primates. So you need to also mention the numerous publication about Jane's Goodall. Okay. So these are some of the questions which UPSC asked on primates and you need to mention about which type of primate social behavior is there among them and then you also have to mention at least some of the primatologists. If a question is direct on some significant primatologist like Jane Goodall then you have to tell about that particular primatologist in detail with reflection of her or his work on primates. Thank you.